Hello everyone and welcome to the Shadowrun. Today we're going to showcase the updated Beat Trooper deck profile, showcasing the brand new card Dragonbite that got released in Battle of Chaos. Friendly reminder before we start to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's jump into the deck profile. We're playing the single copy of Neptune, the one copy of Doomdozer, the double copies of Stink Lancer, the single copy of Rapid Fire and the copy of Assault Roller, 3 copies of Dragonbite which is an amazing card for this deck and you will see shortly why this card raises the ceiling of the deck by a ton. Of course the triple copies of Resonance Insect that you want to see in your hand alongside one extender or one copy of Dragonbite. Triple copies of Retaliating C that is an amazing hand trap especially in this format and allows you to search for your Resonance Insect. The triple copies of Scale Bomber to chain block the effects, two Koki Pulse that are essential for the combos, triple copies of Sting the Poison that is an amazing starter and triple copies of Pin the Bullseye. Now moving on, we're also playing triple copies of Infinite Impermanence to disrupt our opponent alongside two copies of Droplet, two Beat Trooper Descent and two copies of Fusion Destiny. Moving on to the extra deck, we're playing the single copy of DP, the one copy of Baron and the one copy of Borlot Savage Dragon, cards that we can finally make in this deck with the help of Dragonbite. For the Link Force, we're playing the single copy of Invisible Atlas, one of Alusa and one Access Code, one copy of Unicorn and double copies of Seraphim Papillion, alongside the single copy of Crystal Hulk Fibrax, the double Armor Horn to start our combos, the single copy of Picofalina, the one copy of Anaconda and the one copy of Link Spider. As you can see, the side deck consists of really generic cards that you can side deck in this format. I'm also siding the single copy of Gandarla that you can by sending Resonance Insect to the graveyard. If your opponent plays a deck that has a really powerful or towerish monster, you can easily search Katarla and remove the threat from the field. Now before we jump into the combos, I have to address some things about the deck. First of all, we don't play Scout Buggy at all because it locks us into insects, and if our opponent interrupts us at the right time, it's really devastating for the deck and the combos. Another card that we can play in the extra deck is one copy of Salaman Great Almiras, because this card allows us to start the combo off with either the Relating C or Resonance Insect, I would personally place the Palooza for that card instead. Also keep in mind that when Goki Pol is sent to the graveyard, we can search for a copy of Dragonbite, so we have another extender in hand or a great card for follow-up. As you will see shortly in the combos, Dragonbite allows us to manipulate the levels of the monsters that we have on the field to go into Baron early or Savage depending on the monsters that we have on the field. Now let's jump into the Baron combo. As you can see we have a handful of extenders, that's not unusual in this deck at all. We're going to start things off with Sting the Poison and then Special Summon Scaled Bomber, chain blocking the effect. Then we can Special Summon Pin the Bullseye, in this instance I highly suggest you burning your opponent for 200. Then we can go for Armor Horn, granting us another normal summon. Then we can Normal Summon Dragon Bite and Special Summon Resonance Insect from the hand. And we can banish Sting the Poison to make Resonance Insect a level 6. Then we go for Sheriff Papillion and then go for Baron. Then we activate the effect of Resonance Insect to get Sting Lancer to our hand so we can have another interruption and then we revive back Armorhorn, triggering the effect of Resonance Insect to send Kokipol to the graveyard. Now we can search for Retaliating C, having another interruption in our hand. Then we go for Invisible Atlas, triggering his effect to Special Summon Sting the Lancer, and Sting the Lancer is going to search for Beat Trooper Descent. Descent is going to Special Summon a token, and then the token is going to be used for Link Spider, and then we can use both of them for Anaconda. Then we're going to Special Summon DP to our side of the field. Now if you hard draw Fusion Destiny, you can keep the Seraph and Papillion on the field, and then activate it to get DP and another interruption for Seraph and Papillion. And you can easily make Axe got for the follow up and not to kill your opponent with this. That's it for the first combo, let's go to the second combo. This combo is going to focus on World of Savage. This combo requires one less card, but you need to discard at least one card to the graveyard. We're going to start with Sting the Poison and then Special Summon Pin the Bullseye to the field. Don't forget to burn your opponent for 200. Then you can Normal Summon Dragon Bite with the effect of Armor Horn and then Special Summon Resonance Insect from your hand. Now you can link away those two for Pick of Alina and then equip Resonance Insect directly from the deck to Dragon Bite. Then we're going to search Mighty Neptune with the effect of Resonance Insect. Now we're going to revive back the Armor Horn and trigger the effect of Resonance Insect to send Kokipol to the graveyard and then it's going to search and Special Summon Killer Needle to the field. Then we can link Summon for Invisible Atlas and trigger the effect of Invisible Atlas to Special Summon Sting Lancer and trigger its effect to search for Beat Trooper Descent. Now we have the materials needed to go into Borlot Savage and equip Invisible Atlas from the graveyard to give it 4 counters. Also Resonance Insect is going to trigger again to get another Sting Lancer to interrupt our opponent. Now we can shuffle back 3 of our banished monsters to Special Summon on Neptune, and now we have the materials needed to go into Predator and Fertile Anaconda. And once again, we're going to activate Anaconda to get the DPE to our side of the field. And that essential is going to be our end board. Now, even if your opponent embears you or have another hand drop to interrupt you during your combo, you can at least go into Anaconda and Special Summon DPE. Now, having Borrowed Savage on the field will make it extremely difficult for your opponent to deal with your interruptions, and as you will see shortly, your follow up is really insane. I really love how Dragon Bite changes insects and finally enables the deck to have some more single plays. Now, moving forward, I will try to fine tune this deck even further. In the coming weeks, once I get my copies of Dragon Bite, I can bring Beat Troopers to be locals and try the deck out. I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time stay safe and I will see you in the Shadow Realm.